Hello, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? This is the telephone exchange office. Hello, this is Ranjiraj. Yeah, hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hello. What the hell is this? Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Oh shit. This is creepy. Well, so uh, what you saw now was a actual uh, problem which most of the people faces. So uh, this is the PSTN setup that is the public switch telephone network. So uh, in today's video we will be speaking regarding the wireless in local loop that is WLL in wireless technology and why this technology has came into the wireless systems. So uh, stay tuned to this video to understand what is wireless in local loop. So uh, let's get started. So basically in the beginning of the video we saw uh, that I was talking on the telephone and it's like a long cord was there and so uh, the user was facing difficulties while making a call. So the traditional setup uh, looks like something like this. So uh, before that WL is also called as the fixed radio axis FRA as well as it's called as the local uh, radio local loop RLL. So uh, to begin with the traditional PSTN looks something like this. So uh, earlier uh, like in the 1960s and uh, 50s when the telephone system actually invented by Graham Bell. So at that time what we had is we had a central office. So uh, that central office used to connect to the branch exchange. So that was means by uh, copper wire. So that was long copper wire extended from kilometers to kilometers. So that was very long. And so you have a underground switch in that. So that switch just tweaks between on or off whether you would be getting a call or not. And then uh, that branch exchange is local to that particular area or a geography. Then that branch exchange uh, would be extending to each of these users at some particular end or some remote areas or hilly areas or villages. So you can just imagine what kind of hassle was there at that time uh, in order to just take these long wires and braided wires and just you have to just install to that systems and just get the connectivity and you should make a proper call. So uh, that was like around three kilometers through a big transmission channel. You have to install it and the copper wires which are used in this are a big challenge. So uh, this not only uh, increases the uh, time as well as uh, effort, but it is also uh, investment uh, thing comes into it. So in order to uh, avoid or in order to uh, just not consider uh, this uh, hassle in the future, what we have is we have a setup called as wireless in local loop. So uh, in the bifurcation for the name, we have wireless that is its uh, wire systems is not there and local means it's local to some particular geography as well as loop loop here stands for a circuit uh, which extends from a, a user home or a user station is there where a particular telephone system is there and uh, that circuit is being installed at the telephone exchange or the branch exchange so uh, that circuit or setup from the user to the telephone or branch exchange is called as a loop so that's called as wireless in local loop. So earlier it was wired in local loop. You had a wire in PST in setup. Now it's being wireless. So you don't have that wire, physical wire. You do it by means of some other communication. Now let's see what that communication is. So uh, what uh, difficulties we could face with this is the time. Uh, increased time was there in order to install and set up and also to uh, drag the cables and put it at the end user. So that was a kind of a big hassle in this. And the maintenance thereafter, after you install, it's okay. Then uh, later in the period of time, if you want to do the servicing and the maintenance, that could become a big challenge. And then the effort, efforts uh, would also be uh, increased. Uh, with respect to the manpower and with respect to the cost and it was uh, with respect to the quality so quality of the service was not that good as it's being currently now so uh, in today's uh, day we have the whatsapp and everything features and all so this was like way 20 or 30 years ago when we could uh, imagine how the telephony systems could be so uh, what in alternative to do this uh, we have the WLL that is wireless in local loop. So it's a solution to this problem that we faced 
some years ago or some decade ago so what it provides it provides end user or vast mile connectivity with wireless access so you can just connect to any distance irrespective of the geography or irrespective of the physical conditions of that particular geographical area so uh, this is of uh, the wireless setup so it looks something like this so you have a satellite uplink here and then you have a local network switch or a PSTN or a PBX which is connected to this and then you have a telephone central office so uh, this office has got two levels or two blocks extended and then you have a local radio repeater a repeater is used to uh, improve the uh, quality of the signal so like at some particular point of time it may get attenuated or the signal degradation might happen so for that you keep a RS hub so that acts as a local radio repeater and then uh, you have this remote subscriber module so in every person's home you might be having this setup and then it's being connected to the fax or a telephone or then modem so uh, it's being done wirelessly so hardly any uh, wired systems are there uh, between this but then to uh, connecting to the end user it becomes a very easier activity so that uh, everything is managed by uh, radio waves now uh, this is the wireless in local loop now uh, there are some requirements of the services which are expected or given by the WL now let's see uh, what those requirements basically are so uh, the very first requirement is that transparent access so uh, user should be unaware about the kind of technology which is used at the back end so he should never know what kind of technology or uh, what kind of a mechanism is used at the uh, back end in order to transmit or do the communication next uh, security so obviously we remove the wire so wire has uh, got uh, many kind of uh, advantages like it has got security but when it comes to wireless security is a uh, challenging part so due to wireless security is a major concern in this and as we require special protocol to support security which is equivalent to the wired communication so you need to uh, formulate appropriate uh, protocol which is used for the wireless systems which are there in uh, large numbers in order to implement this WLL. Next we have the business use so enhanced services which are offered by the WLL can be used to work with call transfers, conference calls and special group creation. So these are uh, mainly useful for organizations or uh, business people when they work in an organization where they have a particular uh, employee group uh, in which all the information would be uh, sent is confidential so in that case uh, you require WLL and so you have a special uh, type called as CUG that is closed user group which comes under WLL next you have the frequency reusability so we already saw in this in the honeycomb structure so in WLL we have greatly limited frequency and further each frequency has to be reused in uh, the most apt form to make efficient uh, self-available uh, bandwidth so uh, the uh, bandwidth uh, which we give to uh, the systems is uh, limited but then to when it comes to the wireless systems uh, it's even more limited so we have to make uh, it of the maximum use uh, next we have the custom services so custom is user services or user specific services so WLA should support digital services and this service is uh, used to support uh, special applications like you have the CILP we'll see what that is then you have reminders uh, if a user needs to call uh, after later time uh, you might get notifications in uh, iOS and all so that's a kind of uh, reminder which uh, like which uh, user or which person called you later in that time you have to just call back so that kind of facility is given in uh, WLL and then on call services uh, many call recording functionalities and call diverting functionalities are all provided in WLL so well that was all regarding the WLL in wireless technology so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to get educated watching this video please do like share comment and if you are new to this channel please consider do subscribing thank you very much for watching this video